Um, so, quick update. I bought a couple of things today. Uh, as you can see here in the shot is the Feather Duster. Um, one problem is it's quite big. Um, see, there's the tank. The Feather Duster takes up a lot of space. I had it kind of there, but it's kind of moved and shifted. So, I'm going to push it in so it just kind of fills this cave area here. Excuse me. Um, and yeah, I'll see how it looks there, but it may go back because if it is a bit too large. I, I, I didn't realise, you know, whenever you're out, things always in your head are a bit bigger or smaller. And then when I go back, I was like, yeah, that's actually quite big. <laughs> um, anyway, apart from that, I got uh, the GSP here. It actually looks a lot nicer kind of in real life than this will pick up. Um, but originally my idea was to have GSP, you know, green star polyps over this plate that comes out. And I bought a nice flat frag. So I'm trying to decide because then I came onto the idea of maybe having my, a hammer coral there. Um, and I'm just not sure. I mean, if once that GSP grows and it gets thick, a nice little lush carpet of like what obviously what looks like grass, I think it would look really good, um, swaying in the flow. And then maybe I could have LPS just around here all the way along and then up. So I'm really not decided yet, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. What do you think would look better there, like a hammer kind of on that plate? Or just leave the uh, green star pipes to grow over this whole bit here? Um, I'm undecided because if I have the green star pipes, then I could put stuff on here as well. So I could put, for example, a hammer on there. Um, I, no, maybe that'll be better. Maybe that'll be better. Um, anyway, the, uh, the pulsing Zenia. I can't remember if this was in the video I did before. That is pulsing away. Um, doing good. Just a little frag of it. Love pulsing Zenia. I know people go, oh, it spreads, it spreads. Good. I want it to. I think it looks brilliant. Um, this is one thing that pisses me off. So this is the Blue Hermit. If I can see if I can zoom in probably there. Camera's not um, doing too well focusing on things at the moment. But anyway, that is my uh, Blue Hermit Crab. But not with the right shell. So the crab that was being lazy, not doing much, turns out that had like a dodgy leg. And it was literally trying to chop it off with his own claws. And um, so I was... I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll perform crab surgery, pull its leg off or something, without trying to sound too harsh. Went to the gym, came back to do it, and then it was dead. So, pulled him out, but left his shell in there, thinking, you know, you know, it's a little shell, blue crab might need to upgrade. And then, boom, he did. Within the next day, he already did. So, he's not exactly in mourning, but I feel quite bad for the crab died. Um, my phone won't actually autofocus right now for some reason, but there's the blue crab. And he's been a little bitch and just sitting on the other candy cane. And every time I try and get him off of it, he just clings on. And I mean, I can't see that he's eating it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing there. I don't know why he keeps just sitting there, dry humping or wet humping in the tank. That candy cane. So it's so much skeleton showing on it now. I just don't know what's going on. The other one's puffed up really well. It looks really good actually. It's trying to get colour back. So I just do not know what to do with that one. Um, okay, what else have we got? Oh yeah, the main addition. Uh, so we've got a Feather Dust Star, I've got the GSP today, and the best thing is I've got a porcelain crab. Um, it turns out it's a zebra, or a red zebra porcelain crab, or purple zebra porcelain crab. But anyway, if you Google zebra porcelain crab, it's fantastic. The The colours on it, the pattern is amazing. And it's it, obviously it's hiding around the back. Once I get my Maxi Mini uh, Anemone, then it will come out for it. But... Um, it's incredible. In fact, I think I just saw something move in there. Uh, you know, oh yeah, you can just see its legs there, but you're obviously not going to be able to see much more than that. But honestly, it is amazing. Um, oh, I'm really annoyed. Obviously, as soon as I can, if it comes out, I'll quickly grab a shot of it and stick it up. Uh, apart from that, uh, everything's doing good. I mean, look, there's hardly any algae left now. Let's have a look at it. Look, the red hermit is just doing his thing. Uh, he's a beast. Might have to get him a new shell. The amount of algae he's eating will be great in no time. But look, barely any algae around here. Yeah, just tiny little patches of it right there and a little bit of what looks like Calerpa still. But as, an, as a whole, it's, it's brilliant now. Um, I did have the elbows and the tubing that came that I was talking about with the mods. The mods for the pump in the back. But it does not fit. So, uh, I don't know what to do. Um... Yeah, uh, I, I found out that I could put some airline tubing in the little hole where the pump is. Try and run that over, but then again, there'll be a bit of pressure built up because the tubing is smaller than the 
the hole. Obviously, you know, as he's trying to push it through a smaller tube, will that create too much back pressure? And if the pump's not designed to have water flowing backwards in it, it may blow the pump. I don't want it to cause any problems. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, at the moment, it's still coming out of that those holes, those slots there. And it, as you can see, this dip in the sand bed there, it's creating quite a good flow here. I mean, you can see it from here. I mean, that part is coming up there. It comes down to around there. But a lot of it is coming out of there. So I really don't know what to do. Um, I mean, I wanted it to come over and flow through and get all the crap off the ground, off the sand bed. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll give it a try and I'll see what happens. Uh, this is just annoying me so much. Look at him. He's just up there. I don't know if he's eating it or something. In fact, let me uh, try and keep it still a second. Come on, focus phone. There we go. What's he doing? He's just, he's just sitting there. Look. I don't know what he's doing. And... There's just not much left of that candy cane now. It's pretty much dead. So every time I pluck it off, he clings on for dear life and he just goes back there. So I really don't know what's happening with him. But his claws aren't actually digging at it. You can see his claw there. It's not digging at it. It's just sitting there like a knob. Um, oh, well. Um, let's see if I can get one more shot. The anem the um, give you anemone, the uh, poison crab. Uh, you can kind of see it in there. I don't You can kind of see a bit of pattern. Uh, where's my finger? Uh... I see a bit pattern there. That's his claws. Um, well, I don't think you're going to be able to see him enough. Oh, well, uh, like I said, anyway, if I get a good shot, I'll put it on. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please uh, like. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. I'll be bringing more videos pretty regularly, to be fair. Um, I hope we get some more frags soon. All right, catch you later. Bye.